Cancer, hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading starting this new week of August the 7th until August the 14th. If you would like to watch the link to the extended, you can find that link down in the first comment that is pinned down below and also in the description box below for personal reading inquiries. You can also find the link in the description box below. Remember to check out your sun, moon, rising and your Venus placements because if those are dominant in your chart, then those will make uh, sense for you as well. All right, let's see. You're starting off with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Okay, so you have here mirroring nature. And uh, with the number six, if you see number six, 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 zero, six, that means that there is a situation here that has been rather chaotic, confusing in your life, and it is about to harmonize. Okay, now mirroring nature, as you can see in this situation, in this um, image, rather, there is a shattered mirror, right? Shattered mirror. And it says here mirroring nature. This situation and or person is a great source of reflection and growth, willingness to understand and genuinely connect at a deeper level. This situation and or person are showing you your deepest fears, insecurities and shadows through what they do and say. Okay, so whatever situation you're going through or with a person, place, thing, whatever, it's mirroring back to you your deepest fears, your deepest insecurities, and your shadows through whatever is happening, through whatever they're doing to you or, you know, they're doing in your life. So instead of, you know, blaming that person, blaming the situation and saying, why are they like this? Why are they doing this to me? You've got to ask yourself because they are a mere reflection of you. This is asking for compassion, right? Because you wouldn't want to judge yourself harshly. I mean, even though we still do because we're human beings, but you know, it, this is all about, you know, um, compassion. Okay. And, uh, this person is a mirror reflection of you, whatever it is that you're getting from them, whether it's positive or negative, it's something that your energy is exuding. Why is it that you're getting whatever feedback from them? Ask yourself those questions. Don't point the finger anymore in this situation. This is all about, okay, what is it about me that is attracting this action from this person, this energy from this person. What is it about me, right? Because say, for example, as a child, you were rejected and now that person is rejecting you. Just as an example, it doesn't have to be that. Instead of saying, well, that person rejects you, that person neglects you, they ignore you, they breadcrumb you. Okay, well, why? What is it that you are exuding? What energy are you putting out there, right? that you're getting back rejection? Is it self-worth issues that you need to work on? Is it trust issues that you developed as you were growing up or in the past or in your connection in some kind of point, okay? Is there some unresolved trauma within you that is still attracting that kind of rejection from them? Even if it's something positive, right? Okay, if it's something positive. Wow, why is it that I'm attracting so much good, you know, from this other situation, but why can't I attract the same from this other person? Ask yourself those questions. How is this person a mere reflection of you? Because you guys are one. Okay, you guys are one. Now, it also has your message. If you are feeling under duress or feeling solemn, I feel it too. You guys both feel it because you guys are one. Okay, you're a mere reflection of each other. When you are thinking of me, I am thinking of you too. Our connection is deep and profound and sometimes difficult to understand. So again, you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you, you're dreaming of them, they're dreaming of you. It's the same energy. So you guys are both healing. This situation is happening in order for you to heal, to grow. Whatever broken parts of you, okay, see that hole in the middle? That's a void, right? It's like, it's some kind of part within this situation where somebody here might be numbing the pain with something, with a negativity, with a toxic cycle, okay? And so instead of continuously numbing the pain, you've got to heal it finally, okay? And say, okay, how can I heal this through understanding them, right? Because what is it about me that they also have that is reflecting back to me the same energy? Because if there is something broken within you, there's something broken within them too. Whatever you don't have, they have. Whatever they don't have, 
you have right and that's why the connection is happening this can be love related career related family friends a business partnership this could be with co-workers with children whatever whoever a project you're working on whatever this is let me know in the comments below mirroring nature how does that resonate for you let me know okay now we're going to be going into the past present future position who and what is coming towards you also what is in your challenge position how to overcome the challenge and what is in your opportunity remember comment down below even if it's just commenting down an emoji because it really helps support me and my channel i finally got feedback from youtube youtube is aware that uh the issue is happening with regards to um you know my subscribers being all of a sudden unsubscribed from my channel and my videos being hidden from youtube they're aware of the issue and they're working on it is what they told me so uh during the process that they're working on it if you would like to support my channel again comment down below even if it's just an emoji like this video it doesn't cost you a thing to give it a thumbs up like subscribe hit that notification bell and when you hit the notification bell make sure that you hit all Okay. All right. Let's go and jump right into your reading. Thanks so much for your support and your love. All right. You could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. I also see the sign of mm, Pisces. You have here the sign of Gemini, but whatever sign this is, it could be literally any sign of the Zodiac. At the bottom of this other deck, you have here none other than the Ace of Cups. For a lot of you, this is brand new love, a brand new love, a brand new offer of love, whether it's a new beginning, okay? It's a new beginning for sure in either a current love dynamic, family dynamic, and for others, if it has nothing to do with love, which it can because I do general readings, this could just be the offer that's extending from the heavens above, the universe offering more of the things that you love, whether that's money that you love, whether it's, you know, um, friendships that you love, more new friendships, creativity, inspiration, opportunity to heal, but something new coming in to heal you, to transform you. It's a brand new beginning, okay? And uh, again, for a lot of you guys, it could be self-love love, self-love, healing, okay, and or a new connection, uh, or the renewal of one, of course, okay, let's see, now in your challenge position here, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome, okay, I do general readings, like I said, so this can be pertaining to literally any area of your life, love, career, finances, friends, co-workers, a boss, a project you're working on, ideas that you have, children, family, whatever this is, okay? Take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. So I see here that you have the death, the ace of swords, and the seven of pentacles. So with these energies showing up here, I see that it's challenging for you to either accept an ending for what it is or put something to an end, okay? It, it could be very difficult for you to do that. Um, whether this is a career, a family situation, love, whatever this is. With the Ace of Swords here, there's either a lack of communication, miscommunication, and or there could be um, some kind of an energy where you're not really open right now to communicating. You might be either, you know, uh, silent right now or somebody might be silent around you. But there's a lack of communication, a lack of information, and the truth right now has yet to be exposed and or revealed or just being opened about. Okay. Now I'm seeing here that you might be a little bit worried about an upcoming conversation. Don't worry about this upcoming conversation because I feel like you will be pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm sensing here that with the seven of uh, pentacles, it's difficult to let something go or somebody go because you did invest a lot of time, energy, money, effort into this connection, situation, job, idea, project, whatever this is for you. Let me know in the comments below. So it's difficult for you to drop it because you're like, my God, but I spent so much time on it. I spent so much energy on it. When is it ever going to grow? For some, it's some kind of an energy where you're, you're not really, you know, it's like it might be over, but you're like, you're still kind of hanging on to it, okay? Some kind of an ending there. Moonlight, the reason why is because your emotions are still attached to it. There's still an emotional attachment. There's still some kind of a, a safety attachment to the situation, person, place, thing, job, career, connection. The moon represents your emotions. The moonlight is a reflection of your love. There is still love here. And that's the reason why it's not easy for you to let this go. Whether it's, you know, you still have love for that person project that you're working on, that idea, that job, um, that connection, that group of people, that person, whatever this is, okay? It could be you towards somebody, somebody here towards you. It could also be that somebody is not um, 
ready to let you go either. Let me know in the comments below. In the recent past, you have the Three of Swords, the Moon, and the Two of Pentacles. So in the recent past here, there was some kind of a heartbreak, heart, heartbreak, heartache. This could have been due to a third-party situation for some, not everybody. Um, if it wasn't a third-party situation, it was just some kind of a um, you know breakup, heartbreak, or you were let go from a job, or you left a job, or you left some kind of organization, or some kind of energy there that caused a lot of pain. Okay, I see that in the recent past, you went through a lot of illusions, delusions you know like oh my god was this person ever real with me were they lying the whole time right was i just being delusional you kind of felt like a little bit like you were kind of like oh my god did, did i why did i go into it in the first place like you, you you felt fooled you kind of felt like a little bit fooled right like oh my god what's real what's not right that kind of vibe and i feel like that that's what created a lot more pain for you uh but i feel like your your emotions were just taking over you know um you can really think clearly as well uh, i see here that for some it could have been that one person was um juggling you know juggling two people places things or it was a person here who just had a lot going on a person here who worked a lot you know or or was in between places like traveled a lot like you know they had to um they couldn't always be in one place at a time whether you or this other person it could have been that they had a lot going on um that kind of vibe okay and or it could also be that somebody here in the recent past was undecided whether you were undecided and or this other individual okay should i stay should i go should i leave should i not should i commit should i not am i ready am i not isolation i need to be alone to figure out who i am and who i want to be so please be patient with me in the recent past somebody went into isolation whether you or somebody else okay and they needed to be alone to figure out who they really are and who they want to be uh somebody here asked either vibrationally spiritually or directly be patient with me i need to be alone for some time okay i feel like you needed to be alone for some time to really think it through uh, in your, uh, let me know in the comments below what that's all about. Was this happening in your career, love, family, what area of your life? In your present energy of the Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, lots of cups and lots of love. So right now there's a lot of love. There's a lot of energy there of heart, you know, emotions, expression of feelings, that kind of vibe. I feel like right now there, for a lot of you, there could be a reconciliation, whether it's a reconciliation with a person from the past, you missing somebody from the past, somebody from the past missing you, however it goes, okay? It could be both ways as well. But I see that for a group of you, there is an energy from the past returning to your life, okay? Trying to make amends, whether you're apologizing to them, they're apologizing to you, but there's a sense of, okay, let's see if we can work it out because we miss each other, okay? I'm seeing here that for others, if this is not a person from the past, it could be that you are literally meeting a brand new person because remember you have a brand new energy there whether it's a renewal of a connection or it could be a literal you know new person okay uh, if it's a literally a new person that you're meeting they're gonna feel like an old soul to you they're gonna feel like oh my god you're gonna hit it off right away like it's gonna be one of those connections where you're like oh my gosh why do i feel like i know you do i know you from somewhere and that person's gonna be like no, I don't think I know you from anywhere, but yeah, I feel like I do know you too. It's one of those deep connections that are undeniable, right? Because you guys have actually met in a past lifetime. It's going to just happen quickly, whether it's for career matters, family matters, you know, um, acquaintances that you have here. It could literally be any kind of connection, okay? A family member, friend, right? Um, a new person in your life, whatever, whoever this is. Of course, it could be a person from the past for some. Okay, I see here that, you know, there is some kind of energy. There's going to be a dilemma like, oh my God, what do I choose? Who do I choose? Do I go, you know, towards the new? Should I go back to the past? You know, that kind of vibe. And so I see here that the universe is going to put a lot on offer on the table for you and it's saying go towards whatever your heart desires because i see here that you have the potential to create that happy family that happy home with the children playing in the backyard if it's a love connection if it's not a love connection you have the potential to create that type of vibe in your career environment to choose a job of your dreams where you're going to feel you know appreciated that kind of vibe but i feel like you're going to have a lot on offer okay you're definitely the universe is going to put a lot on offer on the table opportunity opportunities for money, opportunities for career, for friendships, for love. I mean, lots. You're going to have to make huge decisions, okay? I see here that uh, it says 5D right now, starting to happen now. You made me realize that we are one. 
meet me in the stars tonight. You and somebody here are definitely connected on the 5D, whether it's a friendship, um, a new person in your life. It could be a family member, a friend. It could be somebody from, you know, uh, that has deceased. You can connect with this person and or you do connect with this person on the 5D level. But on the 3D level, reality, you may not feel like all that, you know, uh, tuned into them. But there's some kind of energy within where you're like, gosh, why do I feel like this connection is so undeniable, right? Because you guys, are connected on the 5d and you're making somebody realize that you guys are one you're also might you might also be realizing that you are one and it says here meet me in the stars tonight 5d let me know in the comments below how that resonates for you is this happening in your career love family friendships finances whatever area of your life i see that in the near future you have the five of pentacles reverses uh nine of swords and the lover so you're gonna make you're gonna have to make a decision in the near future okay about your relationship about a person whether it's a career relationship whether it's family relationships whether it's friendships um a new person in your life whoever this is it can literally the lovers can literally be any kind of connection okay career finances friends love family whatever this is but in the near future you're going to be very worried you're going to be like oh my god what if people start talking what if people start saying this what if people start gossiping okay i feel like you know there will be some criticism from people but don't worry about the criticism because people will be talking and criticizing no matter what don't worry about the criticism it might get to you at first but i feel like if you choose your like go with your heart there will be something even better like a very kind gesture that's going to make up for all that criticism okay i see that in the near future if you've been struggling financially or it could be struggling with some kind of trauma from the past or some kind of um, energy of emotional trauma that kind of vibe you're going to be healing you're definitely going to be recovering um, from financial struggle you're going to be recovering from you know emotional struggle but again don't let your fears and security doubts take over you in the near future when it comes to making a decision about this connection whether it's a business partnership love family friends whatever this is you guys are meant to be okay but gossip will be there don't focus on the gossip on the criticism because something good is going to come out of it gossip everyone is talking about the relationship or the connection or what you're doing with your life people are jealous of you your connections and how you are living your life so the gossip is going to be there no matter what, but you cannot hang on to gossip and not do things or do things because, oh my God, what if people gossip? People are always going to gossip no matter what, but I understand you're a sensitive soul. Okay. So, um, you know, try to, you know, do positive affirmations, try to not, you know, read all those negative comments, right? Try to stay away from those negative people. Okay. Do what you can to to kind of, you know, ease, ease off of all that negativity. Now I see here that in your opportunity, you have the queen of wands, the queen of pentacles and the 10 of swords. So in your opportunity for some of you guys, you're going to have to make a decision between two opportunities. One of them is more exciting, uh, more exuberant, more expressive than the other opportunity. Uh, the other opportunity could just be more stable, consistent. It's more, it provides more stability to you, but it's not as exciting. Okay, whether it's a career opportunity, a job opportunity, project, uh, it could be a person, two different personalities, right? Uh, it could be love, career, family, whatever this is. I see here that you're going to have an opportunity to finally leave that painful chapter of your life behind it's going to be like the universe is going to show up and say okay finally the worst is now behind you you're ready to choose choose wisely this time around i feel like either one of these two are going to be the one for you i feel like you're also going to have an opportunity to stabilize yourself financially to make more money and you could be you know meeting uh new people i feel like it's going to be meeting two different people two different personality types okay I see here that you also have energy i've transformed into my higher self because of you your energy has changed me i feel like you this is you uh, you, you've definitely transformed into a better person, into your higher self because of an experience that you had. This could have been a very bad experience, but it still transformed you into um, a better person, a better version of you. People are going to be gossiping also because they didn't really see how you would be coming out of this. And then all of a sudden you're at the very top. 
Okay. So, um, I feel here that, you know, um, your, your energy is definitely shifting, you're evolving and you're going to start making other people feel uncomfortable. Okay. But that's their problem. Don't dim your light. Do not dim your light. This is your, your life, your energy, your opportunities coming in. I see that also a person around you will be showing up and will be telling you, hey, you know what? I've transformed into my higher self because of you, because of what you did for me, because of how things happened. Thank you, right? And you're going to be like, oh, wow, really? You know, so I'm telling you all that negative criticism, who cares? It doesn't matter because I feel like what's going to come out of this. If you follow your heart, it's definitely going to be positive. Your energy has changed this person as well. Now we're going to be going into the extended reading. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and unfold for you, what will be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from spirit, guidance messages from spirit. So if you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the first comment that is pinned down below, as well as in the description box below. And a quick reminder to please support the channel by commenting down below, even if it's just an emoji that you are commenting down below. It really helps support me and my channel because as you guys know, the YouTube algorithm has been hiding my videos from the newsfeed and it has been unsubscribing my subscribers. So double check if you are still subscribed to the channel. If not, you can unsubscribe, resubscribe again, then turn the notification bell. And when you turn the notification bell, make sure that you hit all because if you do not hit all, then the YouTube algorithm will not notify you of upcoming videos. Remember, it doesn't cost you a thing to support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and of course, comment down below letting me know how these readings all resonate for you. And for easy access to all of the videos that I have been posting for your sign this week, check the first comment that is pinned down below because you will find all the links down there to last week's readings, weekly readings, your monthly readings for this new month, your mid-monthly readings later on this month, as well as your blessings readings, which have already been posted on the channel. You can check out all those readings in the first comment that is pinned down below. Thank you all so much for your support, for watching, and until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Simon psychic source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.